Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Wagner. This is week five of school. Thank you for coming and watching the video. We are going to be doing contour line drawings today. We're going to do a drawing of a pumpkin. We've done them in the past. Um, you are going to do a project where we're adding line patterns to our pumpkins that look really cool. Fourth grade did them last year. They were real impressed with how nice they looked when they were done. If you have a pumpkin at home, I would suggest you put it on the table by you and we will discuss how to draw. If you don't have a real pumpkin, please get an artificial one. If your mom or grandma or whatever adult you live with has them for a decoration. Otherwise, on the module for week five, there will be a... Um, little picture of a pumpkin. It will say example of a pumpkin so that if you click on it, you'll see an example of a, a photograph of a real pumpkin. I will have a couple of different sizes along with the line pattern cards again that I had had on the last couple of weeks because we are using line patterns again. When you look at your pumpkin, it depends on what size, which pumpkin you have. Or like, do you have a tall pumpkin? You would want to turn your paper so that it's tall. If you have a wider pumpkin that's a little bit shorter and a little bit wider, you would want to have your paper turned wide so that it's wider than it is tall. My pumpkin is a little bit wider, so I'm going to keep mine this way. I'm going to start drawing my pumpkin. I like to draw the stem first. I think it's just like because it's the center. Please draw what you see. If you don't have a stem that looks like this, draw the stem that you see. The more realistic it looks, the more realistic your pumpkin will look. So take your time and draw what you see. I do see a little bit of the cut part, so it's a little bit of an oval there. And then I draw, if you notice, both sides of my stem are not the same. They usually grow a little bit crooked. So. In nature, nothing is ever like perfectly symmetrical. We might be kind of symmetrical, but never perfectly symmetrical. Now on this side of my pumpkin, it kind of goes up a little bit. And if you notice, I'm going pretty slow. And let me move my paper as I continue to draw. And I'm trying to fill up my paper because I want to have a very large pumpkin to add line designs. Now I know we don't have very big paper. The students in class will have a little bit bigger paper, but you're gonna use the either drawing paper that you have of your own or the copy paper that we sent to school with or back home in the bins for you. Now I only did one half of the pumpkin. Now I'm gonna do the other half. Now you know what, it comes here, back in here. And it goes a little straighter this time. And now it's starting to curve. I have a little bit of a flat spot, so it's gonna, gonna go straight for a little bit. See how that's straight? And then over here, then it curves. That must be where the pumpkin sat. It laid it had a flat spot there. Now up here, this is stem, because it came down here, but there was a little bit of pumpkin, maybe not up there. Maybe more of it straight across. But you can see this part of the stem and then the pumpkin, I could see a little bit of the back side behind that stem. And this one comes down, it's not very pointy. This one's a little more pointy. And then this one kind of just goes off around the bend. Every stem and every pumpkin is gonna look a little bit different. I'm gonna start the little grooves or the lines on the pumpkin by the in the center. Because this the grooves usually start at the stem and finish right at the bottom, right in the middle. If you roll your pumpkin over, you can see where all the lines, all these groove lines converge or meet at the bottom. I'm going to do this side first. So I'm going to slide my paper over. Any lines that I do on this side will have this kind of a curve, okay? It won't go the opposite way. It'll go this way. Not quite as curvy as that, but it will go in that direction. And watch your curves. Don't just draw what you think you see. Draw by looking at each curve. 
If you have lots and lots of grooves in yours, pick four and draw those four. You don't have to draw every single one if you've got a really ridged pumpkin. I've seen some, we've had some in the past that had lots and lots of lines. You don't have to do all of them. But I'm looking, this one curves way out there and it comes back. Remember your lines go, go towards, they curve from your stem around the outside and then back kind of towards the middle. And this one, I don't see a whole lot of that. There's not a, it's not evenly spaced. And then it kind of goes around the edge, like that's the bottom part that I don't see. Now I'm gonna go on this side. I'm gonna draw this one. Taking my time, looking at what I see. Do I have it like this got a little straighter on that? And then it curved, that one, oop, that one got pretty close. It got closer to that line. And I have this one, hmm. It's not as curvy, but then it curves it down around again. See how they're different? Each one is different. I'm just looking at that pumpkin. You get bumps in your pumpkin. That kind of makes the, that affects what the curves look like and, and what you see on the curve. And here's another one. Now look, there's not a lot of space in between there, but that's natural. Sometimes you have big space, sometimes you won't. There is my pumpkin. When you're done drawing, we will start adding patterns and line designs by looking at the line designs. Remember, I'm gonna have the cards again. You can do a pattern, a line pattern on every other one, or if you really want to do line patterns, you could do them on every one. But remember, you could do a zigzag like this, and then skip a space, Skip a space. So really I haven't made that many lines, but when we add color to these with markers, if you, if you were able to purchase markers for yourself or the colored pencils or the crayons, you could skip this one. You could even turn and do like wavy lines going down the whole, from the top to the bottom, do one right next to it and looks, because it's such a small space, you have to do one line. So you will color in these one color, and this could be like red, these could be yellow. Lots, lots of choices. Now see, I have, this one's empty, this could just be orange. This could be colors, this could be orange again. This could be lots of different colors, keep this one orange. Do, um, we did these crazy shapes, I kind of like these when we did them last week. Here's another line pattern. And remember, it's going to be simple again. I'm going to do it this direction. Okay, you will color this different colors. This one can be plain. If you want to fill each one up with line patterns, that is up to you. We will discuss more things next week about lines and patterns. Do not worry about getting the pumpkin drawn and fill this up with line patterns. We will work on the rest of the line patterns next week. All right, enjoy yourselves.